In this lesson, you'll learn how to paint a cuddly teddy bear. Start by mixing up a blue-gray. If you have paints gray, this will work just great by adding a little bit of white to it. Paint all around the edges of the teddy bear, but don't worry if you go slightly over the lines, because we have to overlap the hairs of the teddy bear anyway. While the paint's still wet, use neat titanium white to add a few misty patches in the background. Now let's paint the teddy bear. Using variations of brown, shade in the bear. I've used various shades of raw umber and yellow ochre. Don't try to get a hair effect at this point. All you're trying to do is paint the darkest dark colors you can see between the hairs in each area. This serves two purposes. One, we are trying to get rid of the white of the canvas by replacing it with the darkest possible color in that area. This will allow us to create a lot of depth in the hair. Number two, we are shading the shape of the bear and this will help us understand the contours of its body and give us an instant three-dimensional look. See how it looks like a teddy bear already? Okay, now let's start adding the hair. We'll do this using short sharp strokes using a soft filbert brush or a fine liner. What we need to do is build up layers of hair to show that they overlap each other. This will give us that lovely soft cuddly effect. So start off by adding a layer of slightly lighter hair than the color that's in that area already. Then an even lighter layer and then an even more lighter layer and so on. Each subsequent lighter layer you add must be in an area that is darker than the reference photo. In other words, you will only add gradually lighter layers of color in an area until the area you are painting has the same tonal value as the corresponding place on your reference photo. As a result, you will find that the darker areas on the bear have only one or two layers of hair and the lightest areas may even have six or seven layers. So I think you can tell already that you'll need to be patient when painting your teddy bear because if you don't add all these layers, your teddy bear won't look fluffy. As you paint in these strokes, use a feather light touch. Only the tip of the brush must touch the canvas. This ensures the thinnest lines possible and the maximum amount of suggested detail. The only way to use a feather light touch is to constantly pick up fresh paint on the brush. Paint two to three strokes, pick up more paint. Paint two to three strokes, pick up more paint, and so on. Then, as you paint, look carefully at the directions of the hairs and their lengths. The directions will gradually change to follow the contour of the body, and hairs that point towards you are shorter because of foreshortening. Notice how I paint one part of the body at a time. Whatever's at the back, I paint first, and then the parts above it to get the overlapping correct. For example, the back arm, then the body, then the bow tie. For the bow tie, I have used cadmium red for the sunny areas and alizarin crimson for the shadow areas. And I'll gradually darken the crimson using French ultramarine. Also notice that the bow tie casts a shadow on the body. For the stripes on the bow tie, Use a light yellow and carefully paint their directions at the correct angle to show the shape of the bow tie. Okay, I'm going to go ahead and complete the ears and face using the same hair technique. With the ears, don't forget to keep the inside of the ear darker. For the face, notice that it goes lighter at the right as this is where the sun is coming from. Now, block in the eyes with black and add a reflection with titanium white. Then add a few overlapping hairs to make the eyes recede. For the mouth area, I use a fine round brush and a dabbing motion instead of strokes. 
as the hairs are a lot shorter here. I do still, however, use the same overlapping technique. The nose is shaded with raw umber and white to make it look round. Then to finish the painting, I add a few overlapping hairs. And with that, we have a beautiful cuddly teddy bear to hang in the kids' room. So if you've enjoyed this tutorial, please like the video and comment below. Also, don't forget to subscribe for more tutorials.